everyone and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and this week is the part four of my sketchbook tour. I'll be sharing the rest of my sketchbook in this part. So let's get right on into it. All right, so this drawing is a pink-throated twin spot. I wrote it down here for my sanity or when I made this video. And so this is a pink-throated twin spot, as I just said, and I was really drawn to these birds because they have such a pretty pink head, but then they have like this bedazzled spotted wings, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but I will definitely pop an image right here for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. But I was so drawn by them because they kind of just reminded me of like a fancy, maybe older elderly woman with like lots of brooches or fancy like costume jewelry or something. And the pink just kind of added to that. So I was really drawn to this bird in particular. So I had to draw her. And this is just strictly in watercolor pencil. I didn't really use anything else. And I think I only did one pass of the watercolor pencil. So there's not a lot of like depth really. I kind of just built on the layers the first time and then washed it over a couple times with the water brush pen and this is what happened so next drawing all right for this drawing this is a giant purple squirrel I believe I didn't write down the name unfortunately for this one but I think this is one of the drawings I posted on Instagram and I was really really drawn by these squirrels because of how beautiful the colors of their tail and in their fur was it's a really purple and orange and just really striking in general so I had to draw one in my sketchbook and it's just a little little squirrel or I guess giant purple squirrel really just hanging out on a branch or something eating some kind of leaf or whatever and I just thought it was super cute and again I was super drawn by the colors so I will pop an image here of a giant squirrel or giant purple squirrel here just so you can see what I'm talking about and how beautiful the colors are Next page. <laughs> oh boy okay so this one let me zoom in for you guys Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Blue Tongue Skink. And I'm really obsessed with these guys ever since I learned about them and their blue tongues. Their tongues aren't normally like this, you know, with such a pancake look, but I found an image of a couple of these Blue Tongue Skinks having their tongues like this, I guess to increase the surface area of their tongue for whatever reason. But I was just so drawn by how blue the color is of their tongue and this salamander looking lizard guy and how how the contrast of their tongue color versus the rest of their body was pretty striking. So again, I'll post an image of a blue tongue skink here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But this was just a quick mixed media sketch that I did with watercolor pencil. And I think I, I mean, obviously went over it a little bit with ink as well. So this next one is a thorny devil and I'm obsessed with these little guys. They're super small. I think they're only about maybe this big or so. And as soon as I learned about these guys and saw some images of them, I was just immediately drawn by them them and I really wanted to draw one in my sketchbook just to focus on these cool thorns and it's just so spiky and even the areas that aren't so spiky they still have little tiny little nubby spikes everywhere and everything about it is just so sharp literally and I was just really drawn by all the shapes that this little lizard creates in his body and the body is even crazier but I just really want to zoom in and focus on his face just because of all of the little tiny details here and there about the whole face I thought was really interesting so I had to draw one in my sketchbook I believe this is just colorous pencil all right next page here we have oh it's a numbat I wrote it down this time too <laughs> let me zoom in for you guys all right so this is a numbat and I believe they are native to Australia and I really love these guys because of their cool striping patterns on their back and just how fuzzy they are and their tongues are actually really long and I really enjoyed seeing those pictures with their tongue kind of looping over like that and again I think these are quite small animals um I don't know the exact size but from the images that I saw they seem not to be super big but again that doesn't mean very much necessarily because you know you can't always tell the scale in different photos but I was just really drawn to the different shapes in the sky and how his nose is kind of pointed like that. And so I had to draw in my sketchbook, that's all. Okay, so this next guy, I love him. Okay, let me get this into focus. Okay, so this is a Gila monster or a Gila monster. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it really, but I loved the patterning on this guy. And I really want to study the just unique 
like striping but also like inverted dots and markings on this lizard guy and I just really enjoyed just exploring his texturing like in his face it's very like pronounced scaling and I kind of just hinted at it with these darker watercolor pencil marks and I just really wanted to focus on this cool patterning because that's what I was originally drawn to by this animal and I think in the reference photo I was looking at to do this animal study there was a bunch of rocks and stuff so I couldn't really get the whole body but again I really wanted to focus in on just this part here and how cool the striping is like it's striped but there's also dots but there's also like inverted play with like the black and the orange and the orange is super bright too so I'll definitely put an image right here so you guys can see what they actually look like and not just a fun little animal study sketch that I created here but yeah this is a gila monster uh, so this next one was a couple sketches i did of one of my favorite content creators here on youtube her name is katherine manning and this is her dog fancy this is the same dog and she is seriously one of the most inspiring people that i've been following here on youtube along with my youtube journey here she's helped me so so tremendously i can't thank her enough for all of the information and content that she's put out to really help me know where to start and what to do with my youtube channel as far as putting out the videos and editing and how to make my channel grow and I'm still really really small but again it's just such a slow process and I'm really really excited to grow organically and I know it's gonna take a while but seeing her succeed and thrive from nothing is really inspiring to me and I just love her so much so anyway if you're a new youtuber like me or you just want to learn a little bit about YouTube and creators of YouTube and how they do what they do and make a living off of it I'd highly Highly recommend watching her channel she's also active on Instagram on her stories every day and that's where she posts a lot of pictures of her dog and I really wanted to do just a drawing of fancy because first of all fancy is the cutest name ever I know she didn't name her dog but it's just so sweet and it really fits her and I just wanted to sketch a couple pictures of her dog just to show my appreciation I don't know if I'll post this but originally I was gonna do a whole video of just making fan art of fancy and this was like a couple warm-up sketches that I did for that video but I Honestly, I don't know if I'll end up making a dedicated video to it, but it was really fun to kind of get close to some images of her dog at least and just kind of sketch them out and she turned out really cute. You can definitely see the resemblance and if she sees this, hi, you're super inspiring to me and I love seeing you grow and, and how strong you are with everything you've accomplished. Yeah, anyway, yep, this is a couple colorist sketches that I did of fancy Catherine Manning's dog. And last but not least, this is actually another sketch of fancy Catherine Manning's dog in that previous sketch sketch on that other page that I just showed you guys. It's the same dog, but she actually recently did a giveaway for her whole camera setup for YouTube. And this is my entry to that giveaway where she had people enter by recreating one of her photos on Instagram and this was one of the photos she posted on Instagram with a donut from I think like a dog bakery or something and this is her cute sweet fancy girl this is her giving it and like the Instagram photo was literally like that or something I'll post the side by side here so you guys can see what I'm talking about but yeah I really <laughs> I really enjoyed this not only because it was a fun challenge to recreate a photo and enter a giveaway of hers but I just really enjoyed doing this watercolor pencil with ink mixed media kind of drawing. I just really like the textures that it turns out to be. I don't even know if this is in focus, but oh, there we go. Um, I just really enjoy the textures and everything and I didn't spend a ton of time on it, but I really enjoy the sketchy kind of feel that this kind of process turns into. So she actually commented on my post for the giveaway as well with this photo and it made me really happy. I was fangirling a little bit, so I'm really happy she got to see it and I didn't win, but I really wasn't in it completely for that anyway. I just like seeing all the other creators and how they interpreted this giveaway prompt entry situation and it was really interesting to see what other people came up with too. And that being said, that is actually the final drawing I did in this sketchbook. Like I said in part three, I did want to fill this last, I don't know, inch or so of my sketchbook a little bit more before I did the sketchbook tour because there were a lot of blank pages, so I did fill those in before filming this part of the sketchbook tour, but now I think this is as full as the sketchbook is gonna get, and I'm really excited to start my new one and maybe do some more 
fun fact friday videos about different animals like i love doing on this channel so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this sketchbook tour for my 2021 well i guess i started this in 2020 but this 2021 sketchbook tour and i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what sketches i came up with through this tour if you haven't seen part one through three i'll definitely have a link in the description to a playlist of all of my sketchbook tours so you can see what other animals that i drew i drew a lot of animals i didn't even know existed that i thought were pretty cool so i would highly recommend you check those out if you want to see what i came up with so now that i've shown you all the sketches in this sketchbook i still need to customize this cover for this sketchbook so please please comment and let me know what sketches in this sketchbook tour was your favorite make sure you check out part one and two and three as well and just let me know which one was your favorite so i can kind of come up with an idea for a cover of the sketchbook make that a video in the future so if you do anything make sure you like and definitely comment which was your favorite at least in this part if you can't watch the other ones anyway like i said if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like and subscribe for more art and animal related content i upload a new video every single friday and my goal for 2021 is to reach 500 subscribers and I think we just made it to 165 subscribers so that's huge and I'm really excited for other videos I have planned for the future I have links to all of my social media and the supplies I use for the sketches that I showed in this part of the sketchbook tour and I'll also link the social medias and everything I can for Katherine Manning in the description as well below so you can check out her channel and the content she creates or just to see her cute dog on her Instagram or in her videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you in next Friday's video. All of the intric intric intricacies, in intricacies? <laughs>